May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and according to the National Institute of Mental Health, more than one in five adults living in the U.S. live with a mental illness. That's right. And joining us now is Dr. Dennis, Medical Director for Priority Health. Thank you so much for being here, Dr. Dennis. Talk Thanks to us a little bit about mm -hmm. uh, mental health. How important is it to take care of your mental health? Your mental health is just as important as your physical health. You want to make sure that you are doing everything that you can to sustain a wonderful life. So taking care of the way you think, the way you behave, and the way you relate to others is so important. So what are some of the things people can watch for in their mental health or look at for signs in others if they think they may need help? Well, a couple things. If you have difficulty sleeping, if you have thoughts about harming yourself, thoughts about harming others, if you're not eating the way you used to eat, or if you're not engaged with others the way you used to. Those can be some signs that something may be going on with your mental health. Yeah, just little triggers like that. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And I feel like it's been such a taboo topic for so long. Folks didn't really feel comfortable talking about it. And I know you say that it's important not to keep those things hidden from others, right? Absolutely. You want to make sure that you're reaching out reach out to family, reach out to friends, reach out to organizations whenever something is troubling you. There are crisis lines available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Take for instance 988lifeline.org. It's for crisis intervention, so if there's something that you're struggling with, you definitely can call or text 988 for help. Also, Priority Health has behavioral health available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And for our members, the number's available on the back of all member cards. So one of the things we've heard with mental health over the last couple of years especially is, you know, breaking down the stigma. It's okay to talk about it. It's okay to seek help. Um, how do you think we've come in that? Do you think the stigma has been broken down a lot? And are there enough resources for people who need help? So the stigma, I believe, is trying to come down a bit. But I think one way to curtail it is to Understand that mental conditions are medical conditions. Mental illness is a dysfunction of some part of the brain. The brain is a body organ just like the lungs, so you have to understand it. It's a medical condition, so that can reduce the stigma. And help is available in every organization. And we hear so much, especially lately, I think about this term self-care, right? People are throwing it around and using yes. it a lot. What really is self-care? Because it's not about going to get a pedicure or a manicure, right? It's much different than that. It's much different. Self-care is about mind, body, and spirit. And doing things that make you feel important, make you feel good. Whether it's meditating, reading, journaling, it's doing things that make you at one, at peace with what you're doing. Being able to relax and being able to think about what's going on around you is so important. You have to take care of yourself in order to, to evolve in this space. And just quickly, uh, Dr. Dennis, if somebody thinks they need mental health, what's the first step? Where do they go? Where should they go first? So there are plenty of places to go, but if you are in urgent need, you can dial 988, you can text 988 for emergent crisis help. Priority Health, again, has behavioral health available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Good to know. Great information. Dr. Dennis, thank you. We appreciate you being here this thank morning. Thank you.